I'm Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on patterns. In this video, we have four questions for you. I'd like you to pause the video, copy these questions, answer them, and then look into my suggestions. Question number nine is from a test paper. We have already discussed eight questions of this question paper earlier. So the question here is, Find the next three terms in each pattern and then describe each pattern in words. Write the pattern rule. So let's begin with the very first one, which is 4, 7, 10, 13. Now to find the pattern and write the next three terms, which is the first part of it, it says find the next three terms, right? So what we should do? We should see how it is growing. It is definitely growing. So from 4 to 7, we are adding 3. And then again, we are adding 3. And this process is repeated. So every time, we are adding 3 to get the next number. So if I add 3 to 13, then what will I get? Well, 13 plus 3 is 16. And then again, if I add 3, then I get 16 plus 3, which is 19. And this process should be repeated, right? So we again add 3. So that is the process, adding 3 each time to get the next number. So we get 22. Do you see? So that is the first part, which says the next three numbers, right? So the next three numbers are as shown 16 19 and 22 now second part of this question is then describe each pattern in words right so now we need to describe the pattern correct so to describe the pattern what should you do well the important criteria is always write down the first term so you can start at 4 and then what do you do then you add 3 each time is that clear right so that is how you can describe the pattern correct so sometimes we can also write a pattern rule, right? So in this case, I will mention the pattern rule also. So let's see, what is the pattern rule here? Now, this is called the term number. So here this is our first term, this is the second term, third term, fourth term, fifth term, and so on. Since we are adding three each time, Adding 3 is like multiplying 3, right? So we are adding 3 in the first term to get 7. So in the second term, 3 is added only once, right? So what do you do? You have to multiply by 3 times 2 to get this number, right? So what we notice here is that when I do 3 times 2, I get 6, not 7. How do I get 7? I get 7 by adding 1, right? So so pattern rule for nth term we say is 3n plus 1. So if n is 1, so we get 3 times 1 which is 3 plus 1 is 4. 3 times 2 is 6 plus 1 is 7. So like this we can do the rule. This rule is called explicit pattern rule. For patterns which are simple, as shown here, you can always write very easily explicit pattern rule, right? Now, it is not always easy to write. Note that. So, we have done part A, and now let's take a part B. So, I hope the concept is absolutely clear, right? Now, the question for us is a pattern which is 
3, 8, 5, 10. How do we get the next three terms for this? That is very tricky. Now, 3 to 8, the difference is how much? Well, we are adding 5. And as far as 8 to 5 is concerned, we are adding only 3. So we are not adding the same number. Here, what are we doing? 5 to 10 is adding 5. So we kind of get our pattern, right? So we can say that add 3 and 5 alternately. Does it make sense to you? Well, that is one way definitely to describe our pattern. So it is kind of two-step process. So what we'll do here is that we'll add 3. So when you add 3, you get the number, which is 10 plus 3 is 13. And then to get the next number, we will add 5. And 13 plus 5 is 18. Do you see that? And to get the next number, we'll again add 3. And we get the number 21. Do you see that? So we followed this process. And based on what we did, we can say that the next three terms are 13, 18, and 21. And you can follow this process. It does make sense to you. Correct? Now, this is a slightly difficult pattern to describe. Anyway, let us make an attempt. How do we describe it? Well, we can say start at 3, add 5, then add 3. Do you see that? So start at 3 add 5 to get the next number and then add 3 to get the next number. So basically, alternately add 5 we are doing 5 first, right? and 3 to get next number. So that becomes our rule. Does it make sense to you, right? So so we could write like this, so that that becomes our rule. So start at 3, add 5, then add 3, and alternately add 5 and 3 to get the next number. Perfect. So sometimes we may have to describe in the fashion given. Right. Now let's move on and take the next two questions and see how to describe those types of patterns. Nine C is the numbers given to us are sixty six, sixty five, sixty three, sixty. In this case, it is a decreasing pattern. To go from sixty six to sixty five, we take away one, and then we take away two, and then we take away three. That means for the next number, I should take away four, and then I should take away five, and then I should take away six. So we get our next numbers as 60 take away 4 will be 56 and 56 take away 5 will be 51 and then take away 6 will be 41. So we can write down that the next three numbers are 56, 51 and 45. How do you describe this rule? Well, to describe the rule, what we observe here is that we start at 66, then subtract 1, then 2. Right? So basically, what we are doing is subtract one more each time. 
is it clear to you? So we alter in this case each time we subtract one more number, right? So you can say that the rule is start at sixty six, subtract one, then each time. increase the number subtracted by one so that is another way of saying the same thing so write down the way which you feel comfortable with i hope you got the idea right the last one here is the number pattern three five ten eighteen now here what do you think is happening well let's check 3 to 5 we added 2 and 5 to 10 we added 5 and then we added 8 so this time what we observe here is that we are adding 3 more each time right so so you see it is increasing by 3 more each time so so if you go with this kind of a thing the next time we have to add what 11 right so if you add 11 to 18 you get 29 right so likewise you can expand and this time we have to add what well 3 more than 11 which is 14 and when you do so you get 4 plus 9 is 13 and then 43 right and next number to be added is 3 more than 14 right which is 17 adding 17 to 43 will give 7 plus 3 is 10 and we get 4 plus 1 5 and 1 60 right so these are the numbers so we can write down that the next three numbers are 29, 43, 60. Right? So slightly tricky, right? How will you describe this? So we can now same type of description as we did before. We can say start at 3, at 2, then each time increase the number to be added by 3. Does it make sense to you? So that is how you can actually describe this particular pattern. I hope that makes sense. So with this we conclude the video and you will see that in this video we have very interesting examples where different numbers were added at different times to get the next number. I hope you find it interesting and useful. Feel free to write your comment, share your views and if you like and subscribe to my videos that would be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.